Hi everyone, I'm Marissa, better known as This Is Not A Marissa by some people who like to watch YouTube sometimes, and I am currently filming a vlog, hence the fancy setup and such, but you're probably not here to watch what I'm doing right now. You're here for what Michael is doing right now, so let's cut to that. Ever since all this Cinema Studios stuff has been ramping up, I've found that my mood fluctuates more than it used to. We had a Skype meeting last week on Tuesday, and uh, Michael Morgan pointed out that I think it was Steve Ballmer of Microsoft when asked uh, if being CEO was everything he wanted to be or something like that. He said that the highs were higher and the lows were lower. And even just with my very limited experience in doing whatever it is that we're doing, I can see how running a business can make someone feel like that. When we reach some kind of milestone, achieve some kind of victory, I do feel powerful, I feel on top of the world, I feel great, but when we hit obstacles, road bumps, when things don't go the way we expect them to, I find that it affects me more than I expected it to. And the most sad, deflated, or depressed that I've felt almost in my entire life is in situations where stuff didn't go as well as I expected it to. Things aren't just working out in terms of running this company. I can think of a couple times when uh, being broken up with in terms of romantic relationships made me pretty sad. So this, I don't think, has ever become worse than that. But there have been a few times when I've just thought like, is this, is this worth it? Like why, why are we putting all of this effort into this when it makes me feel this way? But like I said, when something good happens, when we hit a milestone, then I'm like, yeah, this is definitely worth it. This is way more than worth it. This is so awesome. Todd and I were talking about how the stereotype of a CEO is someone who can rip someone's throat out and then keep walking like nothing happened. Like they're ruthless and they, they have to be to make their business run the way the business needs to be run. And Todd said that he didn't feel like he'd ever be able to do that. I don't feel like I could ever be that way. So sometimes I question whether I have the personality to ever run a big successful company. But then, as far as I know, Hank is not able to rip people's throats out and uh, pretend that, like nothing's wrong. And as far as I know, he is not capable of ripping someone's throat out in the first place. And I kind of feel like if the only way to be massively successful in a business is to be heartless and ruthless, I don't think I want to be successful. At the same time, I know that running a business is not going to be all butterflies and rainbows and unicorns, and I'm going to have to make some decisions that make other people upset, that make myself upset. Business is weird. Life is weird. Everything is weird. 519, wrapped up all my Eco Geek stuff for the day. I worked on a uh, crash course physics mostly, and then we had a crash course live stream from 4 to 5. I thought it was kind of interesting that uh, when I do the Arondanot Patreon live streams every month, there are like, uh, I don't know, 30 or 40 people in there. Uh, there were like nine people in the Crash Course Patreon thing. I don't know what that means. I'm definitely not more popular than Crash Course. For some reason, I guess that community is not as interested in being a community? I don't know. I just arrived at the cinema office. I have a really important question uh. for the both of you. Okay. You guys know me. You I mean, know me pretty well. Do, do, do we really know anyone now, you know? <laughs> you know me well enough to, to know what, what follows as a part of this question. Okay. So today you guys went and bought a printer. Yeah. Of all the printers yeah, I know. that you could have purchased... Yeah, this one's not Wi-Fi. Why did you get the white one? Oh. oh. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to complain about the no Wi-Fi part. Well, you know, it was the cheapest. It was like $39, in fact. And Todd and I like cheap things. Here's, here's the receipt. Can I get my money, please? I'm more bothered by the fact that it's not black. If you well, want, we <laughs> still have black spray could, paint. Yeah, yeah we have the spray paint. Do you want to do, do that? 
I'm sure that'll make all the prints that come out of it look real good. So in our quest to catch up with the subbable shout outs from forever ago, today we have a shout out from Brandon Matheny. Mm. Uh, Brandon submitted this shout out on April 18th, 2015. So it's been almost a year. Yeah. Brandon says, I passed the bar. I am now officially licensed to practice law in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Woo! Thank you to all of my fellow Arondonauts for your encouragement and good wishes. I know it made all the difference. Congratulations, dude. I mean, I know I it's been a year, a, but... I hope you're a lawyer now. Yeah. I hope you're still watching these videos. Yeah, I mean... Otherwise, congratulations. I mean, we'll have to track him down somehow and make sure that he sees these congratulations. Yeah, just I think so. Sure. I think so. Way to go, bro. Woo! Way to go. Caitlin is applying hair extensions to Todd's hair so we can see what he would look like with a brown mullet. <laughs> <laughs> this is something else. I don't know how I look. I guess. I'm surprised that it that it works on hair that short. So I'm starting to lose my hair. Okay. So this is going to be interesting. Well, can it go attach to my beard? Sure it can. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, excuse, my, excuse my clip. Oh, it's fine. It doesn't hurt or anything. Unless you rip it out. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. All right. Uh, I feel like you could be in a, an 80s rock band. Right? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. Hold on. I have to, I have to see this. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> This is a thing that it is real. Hi, Kyla Pine. Hi, Kyla Pine. How's it going, Kyla Pine? Hi, Michael Aranda. Hi, Ty Williams. It's it's going pretty good. How's it going for you? It's uh, I'm all right. Uh, it's a Bray. It's going pretty well, especially now that there's a Bray Lynn in this call. Hello. Uh, where's uh, where's Vincent? Uh, I think he's in bed sleeping. So, we have an almost finished set we just have a few more like photographs to print out and put in frames basically i don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or the day after that or something but we can start getting our our first shots shot there's a place over by bray's house that uh we want to shoot what's going to be outside the window i feel like we're all we're all standing at the the edge the precipice. of a thing ready to jump everybody got your parachutes on here we go. <laughs> we don't need no stinking parachutes. Yeah. I don't have a parachute. I have one of those suits that has yeah. like the big the webbing between the, the arms squirrel. and legs. So I can... Oh, I just knocked over a Diet Coke. Don't look at me. Yeah, I mean, everything is, um, you know, I think we talked about this last week. It's going a bit slower than we would like, but I mean, it's moving forward, which is what matters. Kyla, what's the haps in the what I'm doing right now world? Also, your hair well, looks nice. Oh. I, Thank I, you. I second. I second that. Clean. Thank you as well. All right. Oh. You do have nice hair. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Caitlin's only contribution to this meeting is sliding in from the side to say creepily that you have nice hair. Someone named Kiki Rocks Like Crazy wants to know if Todd will be her friend. And other Maybe. people commented also asking, will Todd be my friend too? And then someone said, we should make a Facebook group called Todd's Friends. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing that we need to figure out. Uh, the number of people who contribute on Patreon at the, I think it's $8 and above tier, there are enough people contributing at that level that it is impossible for us to get through everybody in one month at three names per video with 30 videos per month. Historically, it ends up being less than 30 videos because sometimes days get combined or whatever. Uh, the point is, unless we change something, the number of names in the backlog is just going to keep getting bigger. Right now, I think we're halfway through January's list. So everybody who's given money for that tier in February and March and I guess April now, uh, they're still in the queue. My thought was at the beginning of every video when the anthropometry data comes up and the location data comes up, also have a thing come up that uh, has maybe five names. So moving the names off of the end screen into the actual video at the beginning and then replacing the end screen thanks with a higher level tier where we go back to having only one name 
per video. So I, I had that idea and I was like, oh, great, perfect. But then I don't remember who it was. Someone brought up that they felt like the space at the beginning of the video was more valuable than the end screen. So do you feel like if you're paying more money, you would rather have your name show up at the beginning of the video or at the end of the video? I mean, ultimately, I'm recording this because I want to know what you at home feel I don't really, is the more valuable space. I mean, I guess you're kind of asking the wrong guy because I, 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 I made a joke earlier in this recording, but I don't really care. I mean, I'm just happy to, to help, you know? Huh? <laughs> Maybe you have it in the front? I mean, we can give it a shot. I'm, I'm leaning toward putting a larger handful of names at the beginning of the video because it will be more unobtrusive, I feel, to uh, have five. We could like do a huge list of names that show up at the beginning of the video, whereas I am reluctant to increase the number of names that show up at the end of a video because I don't want to cheapen that yeah. any further. And here's the thing is, as long as you can make it look tasteful, tasteful and delicious, mm. then I say, uh, yeah, I mean, if it looks nice, let's do it. Speaking of tasteful and delicious, <laughs> it's Indian food. You don't look thrilled about it. Oh, no, it's good. Oh, good. Good. <laughs>